Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would just record my entire day and share with you a little behind the scenes day in the life of a full-time YouTuber. I started making money doing YouTube and social media years ago, but it wasn't until a couple of months ago that I decided to just start doing it full-time, at least for now, we'll see. I'm also a hairdresser, but I'm taking a little bit of a break from that right now, figuring out what I wanna do, but in the meantime, doing YouTube full-time, this is my full-time gig, and I thought I'd share with you like what actually goes into doing this as a job, what does a typical day look like, and we can talk a little bit about like how YouTubers get paid and how do sponsorships work. So today is a filming day, so I got up, walked my dog, gave him his breakfast, took a shower. One thing that I did want to say is, I mean, anytime you're working for yourself from home, I'm sure this goes with like any kind of business, not every day is going to look exactly the same. So today is going to be a filming day for me. I'm planning on doing a sit down video. So I'm actually getting ready and going to be looking nice today. But most days I am honestly just hanging out in sweatpants and I look like a bum. And there's some days where I'm literally just sitting in my pajamas on the couch on my laptop all day long getting computer work done and then there's some days where I don't really have too much to do so I'll give myself the day off it really just varies like day to day week to week and today is Friday so what you're gonna be seeing today I would say is like a medium workload day I already handled a lot of like email stuff and um, brand correspondence and whatnot earlier in the week so today I just want to get some content so that way I'll be good for the weekend. So I'm going to finish getting ready and I will see you once I'm done. Okay, I am all ready to start filming. I'm in a typical YouTube video filming outfit. Looking all put together and presentable up top. Pajama pants on the bottom. <laughs> this is actually a dress from Misguided. I just got it a few days ago, so I'll put a link in the description. I think we're gonna record in the bedroom. There's also less of an echo in here. Back in the day, I used to have like a whole big studio setup with lights and a backdrop and all that kind of stuff, but I just, I'm over that. I like a more organic looking video anyway, um, and I just don't have room for all of that. So I've literally just been filming in front of the windows using natural daylight. And actually today is perfect because it is very overcast, so there isn't, gonna be any like harsh direct sunlight coming in and I don't have to worry about like the sun coming in and out of the clouds and the lighting being inconsistent or anything so this is actually a perfect day to film a video I just need to make my bed and make the background look a little bit nicer I'm actually gonna be filming my video on this camera too and on this tripod so you can literally see how I set this all up there we go, I think that's gonna be my filming setup. The video I'm gonna be filming right now is reacting to my viewers' salon horror stories. So it's about 11 o'clock now. I got a little bit of a late start today. So actually filming this video should probably take anywhere between like 30 to 45 minutes, and then we'll catch back up and I will share what the next step is gonna be after I've recorded. Finished filming my video, that took yeah, like about 45 minutes and I was talking that entire time. So now my throat is very dry. It's funny because even though I was just like sitting down, just talking to a camera, like it's no big deal, but it's exhausting to just talk for so long. And I haven't eaten anything yet. It's almost 12 o'clock now. So I'm gonna make myself a little breakfast, maybe another coffee, but we're gonna step into my office aka the couch. I used to have like a whole workspace, like a separate little office area with a desk and my desktop computer and all of that, but when I moved into this apartment, I just felt like it wasn't worth it, so I decided to just downsize, and now I don't have the space for a desk, so I've just been working off of my laptop, and I usually just sit on the couch or in bed. <laughs> Honestly though, I feel like I'm more productive this way because it's more comfortable to just sit on the couch than to sit at a desk on a desktop computer but i have the sd card this has all the footage from the video i just recorded so i'm gonna pop this into my computer and import all the footage so i like to just go through and make sure that it all looks good that nothing is corrupt or anything like that since that is all good i'm going to just let that import and then 
later on at some point i'm gonna start editing it let me put you over here and we'll chat while i make my coffee so normally what i do is the days that i am filming and like recording content i will just do that it's rare that i'll film a video and then edit it in that same day i like to have separate days for filming and then separate days for editing and all of like the computer work behind the scenes type stuff. Cause it's just easier that way. It makes the most sense. If I'm done up and have my makeup done and all that, I'd rather just film multiple things at once and make the most of it. Today though, I am gonna be editing that video um, and probably posting it tomorrow just because all of the other videos that I have already recorded at this point have sponsorships in them. So I can't post them right away. So I wouldn't have a video otherwise to post this weekend other than this one that I just recorded. So when you do social media, there's a bunch of different ways that you get paid. It's not like you just have this one paycheck that comes in every month. You're gonna have multiple streams of revenue. Um, a lot of it is gonna be passive income, which is really great. It's one of the many perks of doing this as a job is you don't necessarily have to work every single day or be doing things in order to make money. I hope the coffee machine in the background isn't too distracting, but one of the main ways that we make money is through ad revenue on our videos. And that gets paid to us through YouTube, well, technically Google, who owns YouTube. So anytime you're watching a YouTube video, you know, there's an ad that usually plays at the beginning or throughout the video or at the end or something like that. So those advertisers are paying to get their ads placed on our videos. Similar to how advertisers pay to have their commercials during a TV show. And honestly, that can be very inconsistent and it can vary a lot. Um, there's not like a certain set amount that you're gonna get paid each video and with that It really doesn't matter how many subscribers or anything that you have. It's all just about views However, the amount that you're getting paid for each of you will vary video to video and there's no way to really predict how much you're going to make so the way that they measure it is you get paid per every thousand views. And for some videos, you'll get like 20 plus dollars per thousand view, which is really good. Then other videos you'll get like five dollars per thousand view. Um, and it, it just varies. I think usually like the more educational a video is, the more you'll get paid from it. Um, the more like advertiser friendly it is, the more you'll get paid for it. So that really can vary and it's not always like the most amount of money. Majority of the money that you're gonna make is through brand sponsorships. And I know a lot of people find sponsorships kind of annoying. I do too, I get it. Like, especially if it's somebody that you watch that does lifestyle content and it seems like the only time they're talking about products that they like is when they're being sponsored because it just doesn't feel genuine, you know? But they are really important and necessary if this is something that you wanna do full time, which in order to produce content on a regular basis and have good quality content, let me tell you, as somebody who's been doing this and juggling it with full time jobs for many years now, um, it's, it's hard, it, it, it does take up a lot of time. So I'm so appreciative and grateful that I can do this full time right now. By the way, thank you guys so much. I don't want it to ever be forgotten or go unsaid how much I appreciate you being here and watching because yeah, I'm getting paid by these brands and these advertisers, but if people weren't here watching the content, they wouldn't be paying me anything. Anyway. You work with brands, you do sponsorships. Sometimes it'll just be like a 60 second little mention that they're looking for. Other times they want a full dedicated video. And depending on the brand and how, you know, big and well known the brand is, determines how much you might make. And it also depends on how many views you typically get. And honestly, you can make anywhere from like a couple hundred dollars for a sponsorship up to a couple thousand, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. It really just depends, like I said, on how big the brand is and how big of a following you have. Usually when you work with a brand, you sign a contract and you have like a non-disclosure, meaning you can't specify how much you're getting paid by that brand. However, I will say for a channel my size, I'm like just shy of, I think 145,000 subscribers right now. I've gotten paid a couple thousand dollars doing sponsored videos. And my channel these days is considered pretty small. So yeah, I would say working with brands is like the biggest way that most content creators make the most money. And then we also will have like affiliate links, 
in the description. It's going to be the exact same price for you. Nothing's going to be different for you, but because I'm recommending it, if you purchase it through the affiliate link, I'll get a small commission from that. Or sometimes an influencer will have like a discount code so you actually save some money, but then they also are getting a little commission from that as well. A lot of content creators will also have merch. That's a nice way to make some passive income. So like when I was creating my merch designs, yeah, I spent a lot of time and it took a lot of work doing that. But then once I was done with it, I just have it like up on the site and now I continue every month to make income from those merch sales, but I don't have to actually actively do anything every month to get that money. So yeah, ad revenue, brand sponsorships, affiliate links, merch, um, some people like myself, I have online courses. Yeah, but those are like the main, most common ways that people make money. I know that's a question that I always get asked a lot. Got a couple pictures in the fit. Now I can take this off and change into something a little bit more comfortable. Made some eggs and toast, very exciting. So I'm gonna take a little break, sort of, and eat that. And I'm also going to go through my planner. I do keep a planner, it is so necessary to have something. I know a lot of people use like digital planners or just like a digital calendar. I like an actual physical planner. It just is easier for me. I am more old school, I guess. Because it's Friday, I'm just gonna look through and make sure that I got done everything that I needed to do this week. And then if not, I'm gonna make sure I get it done today. Or if it's something that can just roll over to next week, I'm gonna write that in for next week. And then I'm going to also, cause I also really enjoy watching YouTube as well. So I'm gonna check and see if anybody that I'm subscribed to has uploaded. So I'm gonna watch those too while I eat. Good morning. Welcome back to the outside. That breakfast hit the spot. Now I like honestly don't really feel like editing that video right now. This is why I normally don't do this because once I'm done filming, I just wanna be done. <laughs> but I am gonna work on it a little bit at some point. But right now I want to post on Instagram. So I'm gonna start editing that video that I filmed today. And I think I was starting to talk about it earlier, but the reason why I want to edit and post it right away is because the other videos that I have ready to go all have brand sponsorships in them, so I can't post them right away. The way it works when you are working with a brand, either they'll reach out to you or you can reach out to them. There's a lot of back and forth. They will explain what it is that they're looking for, or if you're trying to pitch to them, you know, you can pitch whatever idea it is that you have. You talk about all of those details and what they're looking for, um, and then you like negotiate the price, how much they're gonna pay you. Usually then they'll send over a contract for you to sign, and then they will provide you with whatever the product is. And then they'll give you a due date, like okay, we want you to submit the content by this date, um, and then we want it to be posted live by this date. So you can't just like make the content and then post it right away. You have to send it to the brand first so that they can approve it to make sure that you like got all the talking points, that you know you're saying everything correctly and it it looks good and it's what they were looking for and then sometimes they'll give you edits and they'll be like hey actually you know we don't want you to use this particular term can you edit that out or could you add some more like close-up shots of the product or whatever once they approve it then you can post it and then you'll get paid usually it's like a few weeks to like a month plus after you post it. It's rare that a brand is gonna pay you like immediately after, which kind of sucks. It's a pretty lengthy process. So when you were seeing a video that has any kind of sponsorship in it, there was a lot more like behind the scenes stuff that happened. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated. Definitely worth it, because like I said, you can make really great money working with brands. And that's a big reason why I kind of took a step back from doing hair for the time being because money-wise, it just doesn't make sense. Like say I do a four hour color transformation on somebody. After you take into consideration how much it costs for all of the product you used and all of the other overhead expenses and all that, the amount of money that you are actually profiting at the end of the day from that work is 
not that much for the amount of work and time you put in. Meanwhile, I can do a 60 second brand shout out, which yeah, the, you know, there's more work that goes into it. A lot of emailing back and forth, waiting for the product to come, trying it out, then talking about it, making sure you're doing it correctly, sending it to the brand, blah, blah, blah. But really, I mean, I, I get to do it from the comfort of my own home and I, I can make significantly more for a 60 second shout out than like a multiple hour long color appointment where I'm dealing with people on my feet, you know? So not saying that it isn't hard work being a content creator and that it isn't very time consuming and tedious because it definitely is. And I can say that as somebody who has worked real normal jobs my entire life, I've done the nine to five thing, worked at a desk, I've done freelance work, I've worked retail, I've been a server, I've done hair obviously. So trust me when I say like, this is still very much a job. It's still a lot of hard work and it can still be very taxing on you in different ways. But I mean, it's still such a privileged, amazing job to have. So it's a little bit after one o'clock now. I think I'm gonna sit and edit this a little bit. I will see. Sometimes I am not in the mood to edit at all, but then once I get going, I just really get into it and then I end up finishing the entire video at once. Other times I will just do a little bit at a time. Um, like I said, this one I would like to post either tomorrow or Sunday. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't need to go up immediately. Um, if I was working with a brand and like it was due today, then I would have no choice. I would have to just get it done today. But this one is not sponsored by anybody and I don't have a strict uploading schedule or anything. So I have a little more leeway with that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it edited down, like cut up all of the clips and then maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to then add like the finishing touches and cutting it down because of how long this video is it will probably take me about an hour to do it because I have to go through all of the footage. And like I said, I was filming for about 45 minutes. So I have about 45 minutes of footage to sift through. So it's gonna take me a good amount of time to do this. Some videos I can get through really quickly and I can get it fully edited in like two hours or even a little bit less sometimes. It's like a short tutorial kind of video. Others will take me multiple hours. And especially if it's like a weekly vlog or something, I like to edit those a little bit at a time throughout the week. So, you know, the editing process spans over multiple days. Like I keep saying, it really all varies. I could never tell you like, this is what a normal day looks like for me every single day because every day is very different and it just really depends on what I got going on, what kind of videos I'm making that week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I shared some of my own here on my channel. I have a whole playlist if you're interested. I'll link it in the description. That took exactly an hour. So I have the video just cut up. So I have all of the clips out of like almost an hour of footage the video ended up coming down to 22 minutes so from here there's some text and images that i need to add to the video i also need to add like the little part at the end um where it like plays music and the things for watching blah 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 and then i like to watch it all the way through from start to finish to make sure that it looks good and i didn't like mess anything up and then from there once the video is complete i will upload it to youtube then i have to fill out the title and the description if there's certain things that i need to link i need to go and find all the links to put in the description i need to add like all of the tags um, i need to create the thumbnail for the video which that too um it really depends i mean that could be like super quick and easy other times it takes me a little bit longer and then after i publish it i will just go and like promote it on instagram and stuff so even after you have the video itself finished there's still like more steps to actually like get it to be live and all of that so from here it's probably going to take at least another two hours i would guess until the video is like up and posted and completely done and that's just for like a easy normal standard sit down video that doesn't require like 
other extra clips and all of that you know so it'll be like all together maybe about four hours from start to finish from actually creating it until the point when it's live and published some videos will take a little bit less than that most of them will take more than that just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how time consuming all of this can be. But right now it's a little bit after two. I'm gonna check my email and see if there's any like last minute ones. Because it's a Friday, I feel like usually like two o'clock on a Friday, a lot of people just get done earlier on Fridays. So I probably won't have, oh, I do have an email, okay. I'm gonna respond to this really quick and then I'm gonna go and check my YouTube comments. I like to, you know, respond to comments and DMs and that kind of stuff at least once a day and then once i'm done with that i think i'm going to call it a day and then i'll be working more tomorrow which is saturday and that's the thing when you are doing this is like you never turn it off when i worked a nine to five as soon as i was done for the day and i left the office like that was it i was done with work i didn't think about it i didn't have to worry about it with this i mean if i don't get done what i need to get done on the weekdays then it'll roll over into the weekend um or like things will happen sometimes like last night i would it was like 9 p.m and i was still doing work related things there's definitely some people i'm sure that like have stricter boundaries and they set certain work hours and they do not do anything outside of those hours but i'm not one of those people like for me work and life kind of intertwine unless i'm like actively trying to take a break because i just need it which i definitely do that don't get me wrong but i feel like i'm pretty much always like every day always doing something i may not be like sitting here for multiple hours editing an entire video but i'm posting on instagram or i'm responding to comments i'm checking my emails things like that you know or like coming up with video ideas so i think i'm gonna wrap up this video here because this is probably gonna be it for the rest of my day as far as work related things go so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining and maybe you learned a little bit if this is something that you're kind of interested in doing as a job yourself. Let me know if you would like to see another one of these videos because like I keep saying, my days are always different. So if you want to see a day where I'm doing like a little bit more computer things maybe, I don't, I don't know. Let me know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.